This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson. We're selling this truck. It is a 2006 F350 crew cab, 6.0 turbo diesel, 4x4, and it's a Lariat, which means it's leather. Uh, it has 168,000 miles. It's on a clear title. It was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company, um, and it is a sweet truck. Um, whoever owned it is probably really bumming right now. Uh, walk you around real quick. The only issues this truck has are very minor uh, issues. We found evidence in the truck that the, this truck had just been purchased. Um, uh, we found their payment book and we found receipts for uh, really expensive oil change and uh, uh, inspections of the truck. Which I'll show you in a second. Boy, the tires look like they're probably, I don't know, the front tires look like they're about 30%, 20 or 30%. My gosh, there's really... Some scuffs around the wheels here. We put these on the little caps, they didn't have them. This right front tire looks almost bald, it needs to be replaced really soon. If you need to get tires, if you're going to come here and drive it home, you're going to pay a $250 dock fee, you're going to pay our, uh, our city tax, which is 2.1, plus whatever your state tax is. Um, so if your state tax is 3%, you're going to pay 5.1% tax plus. Uh, a $250 dock fee. That said, you're going to need some tires to drive home. Um, if you go to DiscountTires.com, um, we have a lot of Discount Tires locations here. We have a manager uh, for Discount Tires, a good friend of ours, Thomas, at their uh, East Broadway. It's the 8,000 block of East Broadway. Call him up. Tell him you're with Wheel Kinetics. Um, find the wheels that you want or the tires you want online, and. Uh, He'll give you maybe a 5 or 10% discount, plus he'll use our tax code so you won't pay taxes on them either. Anyway, there's your, uh, this is your passenger rear tire, which is very high rubber. You don't need those replaced. There's the inside tire. That one looks good also. They look like they're about 50 or 60%. Um, we did notice in the right light, it looks like this flare, I can feel it, it looks like this flare has been painted before. Which, uh, those of you who own dualies know that uh, these can be the victim of, uh, of uh, hitting uh, drive throughs and posts and stuff. They stick out and if you let the wrong person drive it, that's what happens. But they did a really nice job. I can feel a little bit of, little bit of floaty in there. Just a little bit. It's almost like it just needs to be uh, color sanded and it would go away. But... For, as far as how it looks, it looks perfect. But you can kind of see it and kind of feel it. It's a little bit of roughness there. And tailgate's got a little ding here. For a tailgate on a dually, <laughs> I have to say, most of them are just crushed um, as people black back their trucks. That's a beautiful spare. That's a brand new spare there. Here's your fifth wheel hitch. Light connector here. Anyway, most of the time, uh, tailgates on a dually, especially, are just destroyed from backing into fifth wheel uh, hitches and whatever. You're just missing this light, this amber lens light. This is the driver rear tire. The rear tires don't need to be replaced. The front tires I would definitely suggest re replacing. This one also is a different tread pattern from this one. Which on a dually, I don't think you're you're already gonna get the dually feel. So it's a little rub right there. This one feels the same as the other one. So it looks to me like he probably had both of these things scuffed and shot because they got rubbed up against or he replaced them or something. But whoever did the color painting, the, the color is perfect. The paintwork is pretty good. They just didn't uh, buff it out enough at the very end. 
That's a little ding right there. Open the hood here. Okay, there's your fenders. There's your Ford emblem on that fender. Battery is new. There's your Ford emblem on the core support. Ford stickers. Just uh, helps you know that it hasn't been crashed. And you can kind of see the Ford emblem right, right there in front of my finger. And there's your Ford emblem right there. I'm sorry, right there on the driver fender. Anyway, uh, the motor looks like a like a motor and everything looks right under the hood very minor uh, rock chips you'd expect here and you see a little star down very low on the windshield right here be a good idea to fill that but it would be a waste of money to put a windshield in it it doesn't need it yet there you go it's missing the red lens in the door which uh, seems to happen in almost every one of these. If I went through every one of my trucks, my Fords, they're almost all like that. It's kind of weird. I think the people sit in the back seat and there you go and play with those lenses until they break. Something, something's got to be like that. Anyway, there's your. This is a Ford mat. There's under the mat. Nothing to hide there. Let's see, just a truck, man. This is a really good looking truck. Here's your door panel. Let's see, power locks, power windows. There's your back and forth. Let me show you uh, under the carpet. There's under the carpet. I mean, whoever owned this thing took great care of it. Let me show you what I found in the car. April 15th, 2011, payment number one, $351.14. And it goes to the last payment is February 15th of 2016. So that's five years, $351 a month. So that's about twenty grand, 21000 in payments they were going to make. And that started, that started April 15th, 2011. So the truck was stolen right after they bought it. And they were going to pay twenty thousand in payments. They probably made a down payment of you know at least five thousand. So they were they were in love with the truck. Uh, here you go. Let's see, six twenty eight of two thousand eleven. Um, it went to an express lube and it got uh, inspected. Let's see, one hundred sixty seven thousand miles. It got. Oil, basically an oil change, and then they inspect, inspected uh, the tranny fluid and PCV valve. Blah blah blah. There you go. Anyway, that's what happened there. Uh, anyway, the seat has a little bit of wear here. I'm gonna have my upholstery guy come in. This is gonna be a lot improved uh, this afternoon. Um, it won't be. It's not gonna be recovered, but he has this filler that'll fill that in, and it'll make it look a lot better. Um, we just wanted to get this thing online really quickly because people are dying for this truck. Anyway, the leather looks pretty good. It's not cracked. It's just kind of worn here on that bolster, but the rest of the seat looks great. All right. Uh, passenger seat looks good. Let's put some... Seatbelt on. This is a really cool truck. All right, let's see. Let's make sure everything works. There's your radio. Let's turn this on. Make sure your air's blowing, and it is nice and cold. Perfect. This thing is really cool. All right, let's get down in here. 168,596 miles. There are all your gauges there. Let's see. 
Let's see if the uh <laughs> we can get you. Yep, they work. Then you have cruise over here, on and off. You have tilt over here. You have the adjustable pedals. They work. Let's see, tow and haul. Off. On, on, off. Let's see. We have our light packages. I mean, this is our trailer package, sorry. Let's see, we also have a rear slider, power slider. Here's your power slider. Let's see. Let's go here. Now, let's put it into four-wheel drive low, which is, sorry about the glare there, there's four low, put it in drive, oh, yeah, that would be a lot of torque, a <laughs> dually in four low, and in reverse, that works perfectly, let's put it down to four high, there's four high, let's put it in the drive, yeah, you could actually drive in speed there. Put it in reverse. Boom. All right. All right. Put it in two-wheel drive. Let's take a quick drive down the street. Oh, you know what? There's our there's the sticker for the that receipt I showed you. The next service is 170,674. There you go. All right. I'll make this snappy here. This truck is really cool. Um, we have a lot of experience selling this truck. This is not going to last long. People, please get your deposit in, especially if you're on eBay. We just had some knucklehead who waits seven hours to put his deposit in after we accept his bid. And in that seven hours, some guy shows up with cash for the same vehicle. We sold it to him. <laughs> you know, oh, but you promised on eBay, you know. <laughs> Uh, most people on eBay never pay anyway, so of course we took it, sold it to the guy with the cash. Okay, he's in love with the truck, and the knucklehead in eBay somewhere in Nebraska doesn't have it, and that's tough luck for him. Um, so, please make it official. You know, the, it's five hundred dollar deposit, and just get it done so that it's over. Um, this drama sucks. Anyway, let me uh, see if I can get out here. Give you some shifting action here. Anyway, please bid on this truck. It's a great truck. Um, clean title, beautiful, uh, nothing to worry about. Thank you very much.